Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. You got the Empress card. Okay, Aquarius. Aquarius, you are enjoying your domestic bliss from this month towards um, summer or that's around April or May. You might be joining other family members um like your parents older relatives or you're moving back to your ancestral home or your hometown for some of you you are thinking of retiring maybe you're longing for a more laid-back life if you're living in a city or in a fast-paced environment uh, by this time, you want to slow down a bit and enjoy your family and the life you're, that you're familiar with and the environment also that you are familiar with. Let's pull another card for Aquarius. Uh, by the way, for some Aquarius, I'm also sensing that uh, you're wanting to maybe put up a business that is home-based or closer to home. Or you might be outsourcing um, like um, you know like a trader you'll be outsourcing products and then you'll be shipping them to other places so that's for a few Aquarius um, okay so another card for Aquarius Aquarius the hermit wow so you're really uh, wanting to uh, step, step back but uh, you're doing that because uh, you want to slow down a bit okay. for personal um, card for car use the queen of pentacles so for the Queen of Pentacles, um, Aquarius, uh, you will be relying on um, somebody who, is, who can be a maternal figure. Not necessarily a female, this can also be a male, but has that nurturing quality or somebody that you feel can nurture your goals, your ambitions, and uh, can fuel your drive as you uh, embark on this on this stepping back on this retreating to that place familiar so this could be somebody from your family from your immediate family or if you are married this could be your wife your spouse your partner who you will be relying on for support i mean more on uh, uh, say moral support somebody who will uh, make things more organized for you that's for Aquarius the next card is for Pisces Pisces page of ones upright Pisces For Pisces, um, simplicity is your uh, keyword for this mid month of January going to uh, March, April. Uh, during this period, you'll, you'll be looking closely at your uh, resources. Resources could mean material resources or even your skills. What you can do to increase your wealth and for stability stability would be um, more simple for Pisces 
um, you know, like having a roof under their heads would be stability for them already. Having uh, three square meals a day already means stability for the Pisces. The only thing is that they seem to be, you know, like a little dreamy here or um, they think they are being practical here. But in probably in truth, they're not seeing the bigger picture of their situation. Let's pull another card for Pisces. Okay. Um, in fairness to Pis Pisces, uh, they are um, using their intuition uh, this mid-month. Again, they need to be grounded also. There has to be balance. Uh, using intuition is good, but they also have to be grounded. This is uh, the reminder of the card. This is the advice of the card for Pisces to be grounded with you know hard facts and looking at the bigger picture instead of you know like looking only or seeing only what they want to see the idea if they are hatching a, a plan they're only seeing the good part of that plan they are maybe unconsciously um, refusing to see the obstacles related to that plan. So, Pisces um, strike that balance between practicality and uh, using the intuition. The good thing here is that uh, Pisces is not uh, being emotional this time which is good so another card for Pisces okay. for the second card um, Pisces got the four of pentacles reverse in terms of our resources, well, Pisces, again, um, is stable based on their terms. But in reality, what they have may not be enough. So this is something that uh, Pisces has to confront this issue and to address this in order for this um, stability to happen. Personal card for Pisces. Two of Wands upright. They want to build. This is to say that Pisces wants to build something stable for for themselves on a personal level. Um, you know, there is nobody in sight here, so I think that Pisces is um, currently searching for an ally for their tribe. They want to settle to another, you know, a more fertile ground, greener pasture. And Pisces will be successful if they will only, you know, like focus on their uh, goal. On their destination where they're going and I could sense that Pisces is determined here so success can be guaranteed next card is uh, Aries Aries is uh, judgment upright for Aries There might be a breakdown in tradition here if this talks about uh, the home front or at work. There could be uh, some sort of a relegating of roles but everyone will be cooperative in this change and it's going to be uh, for long term outcome. For some Aries, you could receive news about 
pay raise but um ask the you know the boss yourself if uh the news is true as it may turn out you know like a hearsay you need to confirm with the bosses or the if uh, pay raise will be affected another part for a lease a communication will be uh, brought to your attention this could be a memo from the boss and this could also be a communication from somebody from a distance this is unexpected yet you're expecting it or at least you are uh, wishing that this communication will go through personal card for Aries Aries three of cups upright there will be a celebration an event an invitation for an event here and you'll be uh, enjoined by familiar faces like family members or co-workers next card would be Taurus The world reversed Taurus uh, if uh, previously you're feeling trapped with the uh, rules and uh, protocols uh, this month you're feeling like uh, breaking breaking away from uh, these restrictions these restrictions are impeding your progress so you want to explore from this mid-month explore uh, opportunities you know your limitations anyway so it's not really you know being a renegade or breaking rules or maybe you're going to bend rules but not entirely breaking the rules because you know your limitations here okay. uh, nine of pentacles upright so this is a card of parity enrichment so you're feeling adventurous stories which is your nature anyway so you want to test your limits also and uh, you want to apply your knowledge on something you want to exercise your abilities because you know that that's going to give you stability and also recognition citation and rewards here and you're on your way You have the two of cups reversed Taurus you seem to be not sharing your ideals with someone you are close to this may be your spouse your partner or um, a family member or someone in your community this could also be your boss it doesn't mean there's a disharmony or you are avoiding this harmony that's why you are not you know you are um, either hiding the information from the other person or you are shutting down yourself so that uh whatever disagreement is coming between you will not escalate further there's some sort of a pent-up emotion here that uh you or maybe the other person is withholding from one another so there's no real exchange it doesn't mean it's bad but uh well it could be because uh there's a uh, you know some sort of a communication gap going on either of you feels that the, in this way misunderstanding will be avoided okay so that's what's happening